Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Super excited for this video uh, for you guys because I'm gonna be showing you some simple air fryer keto slash low carb meals. The air fryer is so simple, right? And if you know me, I'm a simple girl. I love simplicity and an air fryer is simple in itself, but I wanted to show you guys the new special toy that I got that just it makes it even that much more simple for my life, which I am loving. <laughs> so let's get into the video, five days of air fryer keto slash low carb meals. Let's go. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm the incredible shrinking Steffi. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, be a part of my journey, and allow me to be a part of yours. This channel is my journey to lose a total of 200 pounds from my highest weight of 374 to be able to conquer food addiction, conquer obesity. I've lived with obesity my entire life, ever since I was a little girl. And so being able to really truly conquer it and achieve that total freedom that we're all looking for when it comes to our relationship with food, when it comes to food addiction, that is what my channel is all about. I tackle the mental part of this. We talk a lot about the mental problems, the mental struggles, but I also do a lot of what I eat in a day videos. I lose my weight with keto slash low carb and I reached 180 pounds lost at the end of last year. So I show you what I eat to lose weight. I also do uh, intermittent fasting as well. So if that interests you make sure to subscribe to my channel also I have a support group on Facebook the shrinkables so come join us over there follow me on Facebook and Instagram all of that is down below so I wanted to share this awesome new little toy I got uh, recently, which is the Tasty Sensor Magic Smart Air Fryer. And I wanna thank you, Tasty, for sponsoring this video. I have absolutely fallen in love with your air fryer. My husband and I both have fallen in love with it, with how easy and simple it makes our lives. And we will we'll be continuing to use this all the time. So thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to try it and to share with my viewers as well, because I know they're gonna fall in love with it too. So like I said, Said, I am a very simple girl. I feel like a weight loss journey is complicated enough, especially when it comes to food, because diet is everything, right? And you want to make sure that you're eating the right things. And so I feel like losing weight is just so super hard as it is, because we need to tackle the mental part of everything, right? So when it comes to my diet, when it comes to the things that I eat, the lifestyle that I'm living, I want it to be simple. I'm not a fancy person over here. I don't make like these elegant, fancy dinners all the time, you know? I like to keep things simple. And I love air frying my meals because it's simple, right? But I want you guys to check out my new little toy that I got. I have absolutely fallen in love with this air fryer because not only does it just make air frying simple, but let me just show you how simple it truly does make it. So with this air fryer, it actually has eight cooking functions. One of the modes is a steak mode, which customizes your cooking process for multiple steak cuts. So however you like your steak done, whether you like it medium rare or medium well or well done like I do, you can set it to your preferred doneness and voila, there you go. You have your perfect steak. It also has fish mode customized for multiple types of fish as well. Chicken mode, uh, tenderness or crispiness on multiple cuts. It has a pork mode. Also fries mode, which is auto cooking adjustment for three fries style. It has an air fried mode for your easy, crispy and less oil. So your healthier versions. Also a slow cook mode for nutrient retention, melt in your mouth yumminess. And it has a dehydrate mode for making multiple types of jerky and dried fruit. So it has so many different things to this, but my favorite part is it has a smart probe. So you can stick the probe inside the thickest part of your meat and it constantly monitors and transmits real-time food temperature to the system and it's smart app controlled so you can download the app and view on your phone when your dinner's going to be ready. Like that's so super cool how 
easy, how simple. So no more overcooked meat, especially if you guys like your, your, your steak medium rare or medium well, you know, you like a little pink in your meat, no more overcooked meat when you stick it in the air fryer because you can easily monitor it right on your phone and it alerts you when it's ready. So I went ahead and filmed five days of meals for you guys using this air fryer. And I have to say, I am just absolutely in love with it. And we're just going to be using it all the time now uh, because it's just so super simple. Have I mentioned that it's simple? Because it's simple. It's very, very simple. But if you guys want to take advantage and get yourself a tasty, smart air fryer, then I have provided the link down in the description box below. Also, if you use my code Steffi20, you can get $20 off of your order. And with this air fryer, they also include a book of over 50 air fryer recipes that you can make. So many options, so many options. So five days of simple, easy, air fryer meals coming your way right now. Let's get into it. All right guys, for day number one, for our first meal in our smart air fryer, we are cooking steak. Well, I'm cooking steak. Uh, steak with garlic butter sauce. And we're gonna see how easy this air fryer is using the probe. I'm super excited to try it out and uh, to use the app to see when it's done. So let's go ahead and uh, season our steak and get it in the air fryer. All right, so I'm just gonna season it with salt and pepper, and then we're gonna make the garlic butter sauce while it's cooking. So let's season it and get it in the air fryer. I will show you um, what settings we set it on to cook our steak. So for the steak mode, super simple. All we're gonna do is press the steak button. And then we're gonna go to which steak we want. So we got New York strip, ribeye, filet, T-bone, and sirloin. And then we say, okay. And then we're gonna uh, select our preferred doneness. Definitely not medium rare. Medium well, will make my husband happy. All right, so we have the probe here that we're going to stick in the thickest part of the steak, and then we're gonna connect it to the air fryer. Like that. And the probe is kept on this side in that little compartment here, but it gets plugged in on the other side. So let's go ahead and put the steak in. And then it just plugs in on this side here, right where it says Pro. Just like that. And then press play. And there we go. And then we can connect to our app to see when it's going to be ready. How cool. All right, so check this out, guys. I go into the app. And then I have it right down here saying that I'm cooking steak. Time left, 27 minutes, ready at 7.06 p.m. How cool is that? We can click on it here and it gives me the details and the timer. So you don't even need to worry. You don't even need to worry about dinner. I, I don't know what it is with me and steak, but I just, I can't cook it right. So this is going to be so awesome for me. So yeah, meet you back here when it's ready. So I just got a notification that it says ready, enjoy your meal. It is ready. So let's check it out. Mm. Mm, that was fast, huh? All right, let's cut it open.
Hey guys, so we're on day two of our air fryer meals and I just have to say last night's dinner was so super simple and it came out perfect. Well, not for me because I like mine well done, but it came out exactly the way that we uh, programmed it to, that we set it to, and it was so fast. I can't believe how fast it was done, but that was the first time I've ever cooked steak in an air fryer and it won't be the last uh, just because of how super simple it was and I love being able to track it on my phone. So anyway, tonight, uh, uh, I'm going to be making bacon wrapped pork tenderloin. And yeah, we are going to set the air fryer on pork mode uh, for this. So let's go ahead and get out the ingredients and get dinner in the air fryer. All right, so we have the pork tenderloin here. We also have our bacon that we're gonna wrap around it because you can't go wrong with bacon. And I'm going to be seasoning it with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. That's usually uh, my go-to spices. And I just have to say, uh, the air fryer was very super simple to clean as well. Um, these can just stick right into uh, the dishwasher there. Dishwasher safe. Also comes with this rack as well, which is dishwasher safe, um, but the probe, obviously is not, so you have to hand wash that, which I already did. So let's go ahead and season our pork and get it in the air fryer. For 29 and I find myself wondering what did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward and never turned back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. All right, that is in, it is cooking, and I am going to saute some asparagus uh, seasoned with salt and pepper to go along with it. So it's gonna be a yummy dinner. Delicious, super simple, and cooked perfectly. Yum. 
All right, guys, so we are on day three of cooking with our new air fryer, and tonight I am making delicious, juicy chicken breast in the air fryer. Super simple. I'm gonna show you what I'm going to season it with, cooking up two chicken breasts, and then um, as a side, I'm going to saute some zucchini and summer squash. I saute it in um, olive oil and season it with salt and pepper. Super, super easy. All right, let's go and see. Oh, okay. I made these. Good job. I like them. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go see what I'm gonna season the chicken with and get it in the air fryer. All right, so we got our chicken breast here. I'm gonna do two chicken breasts. One of them I am going to season with salt, pepper, garlic powder, uh, some cayenne pepper, paprika, and onion powder, my go-to spices. And then the other one I'm just gonna um, season with salt and Italian seasoning, and that'll be for the kids because they don't really like all the, the cayenne pepper and the paprika and all that the good stuff. So we're gonna do two of those and we're gonna get it in the air fryer now on chicken mode. All right, so this chicken breast was actually really big so I just cut it in half and I think that's gonna be uh, good for all of us. So let's go ahead and season it now. Thank you. 
cooked perfectly. Mm. Ooh, cayenne pepper. Mm, there it is. <laughs> so good. Mm. Yum. Delicious. So easy. So simple. Mm. Dinner's done. This is my dinner for tonight. Chicken, zucchini, and no summer squash. Mmm. No no That's it for day three. Yeah. Hey guys, so it's day four, isn't it four? Yes, it's four of our air fryer meals and my hubby is cooking dinner tonight. I'm getting ready to take a shower in a little bit. That's why I'm in my robe. And Christopher is gonna be making dinner tonight. And we are having cheeseburgers in the air fryer. Have we ever cooked cheeseburgers in the air fryer? Have we ever done that yet? We have not. So we're gonna see how it comes out in our new air fryer. And yeah. That's about it. <laughs> you have nothing to say? No. Okay, so I'm actually gonna be using romaine lettuce leaves for my buns, um, but another option, if you guys want a bread replacement, make chaffles. If you have not made chaffles yet, you are missing out. It is a bread replacement for us low carbers, us ketoers, and it's amazing. I have a video showing you how I make my chaffles and how I make them crispy. Also show you seven different ways that I eat my chaffles, seven different chaffle meals for you. So make sure to check out that video so you can make chaffles, use them as a bun replacement for your cheeseburger. Tonight I am not going to make chaffles. I'm just going to use the romaine lettuce and I'm going to have a slice of tomato and red onion uh, for my burger with some ketchup and mustard. So let's go ahead and make the cheeseburgers in the air fryer. All right, so we got four burgers here. The bigger one is for me and the little ones are for the kids. Uh, Chris is gonna put the probe into mine. All right, so for the cheeseburgers, I am going to put it on slow cook. And we are going to put the temp up as far as it'll go, which is 340. And we want the, the internal temperature is gonna be 155. And 155, 340, and press start.
All right, guys. So for dinner for our fifth day, for our fifth night, uh, we had steak fajitas in the air fryer. So Chris got some shaved steak, and he cut up a bunch of uh, green peppers and red peppers and white onions. Uh, put everything all together in the air fryer. And we make our own uh, fajita seasoning. I will put the uh, recipe link down below. Uh, this one does not have any sugar in it. I uh, like those packets that you get in the store. So we always make our own. Uh, but he seasoned it with the fajita seasoning and then just stirred it all around just to get everything in there. Then we stuck it in the air fryer. We used the air fry mode at 390, and the recipe said to do it for 10 minutes, which is what we did, but we ended up uh, having to stick it back in for a few, few more minutes. The meat was not done. So I think it depends on how much you actually have in your basket as well. but it came out really super yummy. Really, really good, really, really quick, quick, easy, simple meal. So Chris picked up these um, flour tortillas for me. They're carb counter. Uh, they have 16 grams of carbs and 11 grams of fiber, so five net carbs per tortilla. I usually get the Mission Carb Balance wraps, but these are the ones that he picked up for me. I stuck it in the microwave for just 10 seconds to warm it up, and then I filled up my tortilla with all of the yumminess. I used shredded mild cheddar cheese. Also had some diced tomatoes in there. And we had on the border salsa and of course some sour cream. And I'm always so bad at wrapping it up, but <laughs> I always look like a fool while I'm trying to wrap up my, my wraps. But it was absolutely delicious and so very easy. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and join my support group on Facebook. Again, if you guys want to take advantage and get yourself one of these awesome air fryers, I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it if you like simplicity. Uh, then make sure to click on the link down below and use my code Steffi20 for $20 off of your order. Alright guys, that's it. Have a blessed week. I'll see you at the next video. Stay safe and choose health. Bye guys.